explain about the quadrilateral part 4. We are going to learn about the quadrilaterals part 4 in which we will learn about the trapezium and kite. In which we will learn about the trapezium and kite. Now we will go what is trapezium. A quadrilateral in which a pair of opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides. See a quadrilateral in which one pair of one pair of opposite sides are parallel. That is AB parallel to DC. AB is parallel to DC. And these two sides are non-parallel. These two sides are non-parallel. See here. But the adjacent angles, angle A plus angle D, angle B plus angle C, A, angle A plus angle B, angle A plus angle D, angle A plus angle D it should be 180 degrees, angle B plus angle C, angle B plus angle C should be 180 degrees. See, these two angles. If you are taking the sum of these two angles, it should be 180 degrees. If you take the sum of these two angles, it should be 180 degrees. That means, that means, uh, angle A and angle B, angle, no, sorry, angle A and angle D, angle B and angle C, angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees, angle B plus angle C is equal to how much? 180 degrees. Now, uh, area of the uh, area of the trapezium, what is the formula to find out the area of the trapezium? Half into H into A plus B, H is the height, H will be the height, this will be the height in this one, okay? H will be the height. A and B, A and B are the parallel sides. A and B are the parallel sides. A and B are the parallel sides. What is the formula to find out the area of the uh, trapezium? A is equal to half into H into A plus B, where H is the height. A plus B are the opposite parallel sides. Okay, opposite sides. Okay. Now. In this trapezium, one more type of trapezium is related is called as isosceles trapezium. Isosceles trapezium. A trapezium in which the two non-pair sides are congruent. That means these two sides are congruent. That means it should be equal. Here these two sides are not equal to each other. But here you will find in isosceles trapezium, these two sides are equal to each other. If the sides are equal, then it is called as isosceles trapezium. A trapezium in which a trapezium in which non-parallel sides are equal is called as isosceles trapezium. Now, AB parallel to DCCD, okay, angle, sorry, AB parallel to DC, AD is equal to BC, AD is equal to BC, there are, these two sides are equal but they are not parallel, they are not parallel. And angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Angle B plus angle C is equal to 180, 180 degrees, same as it is of trapezium, okay. Now, what is the same area of the trapezium is equal to half into H into A plus B, same formula to find out the area of the trapezium, okay. The difference is that here these non-two parallel sides will not be equal. In isosceles trapezium, non-parallel sides will be equal to each other, non-parallel sides will be equal to each other. Now, next, kite. This is not rhombus. See, this, this figure is not a rhombus. It is different from rhombus. Okay. Kite. A quadrilateral in which exactly two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent. That is equal. See, this is adjacent side. These two adjacent sides. Adjacent sides are equal. AD equal to AB. Adjacent side. DC equal to BC. DC is equal to BC. And diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals are bisect to each other. See. It is meeting exactly, meeting here. Now it is forming 90 degrees on four sides. Forming 90 degrees on four sides. Then BC is equal to BC is equal to DC. AB is equal to AD. And diagonal bisect each other. Area of the kite. Area of the kite is A is equal to half into D1 into D2. Where D1 and D2 are the diagonals. What is the formula to find out the area of the kite? Half into D1 into D2. D1 and D2 are nothing but diagonals. Half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2. What is kite? A quadrilateral in which exactly in which exactly two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent. Adjacent sides are congruent. Congruent is nothing but equal. Okay. Uh, hope everyone understood. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.